French Cameroonian fighter Francis Naganu is rumored to have the hardest punch in the world. After Naganu's recent contract squabbles with Dana White and the UFC brass, Naganu is thinking of quitting the UFC to fight heavyweight champion Tyson, the Gypsy King Fury. So stay tuned and don't go away because heavyweight rival Curtis Blades claims Francis Naganu should quit the UFC to pursue his boxing dream and can beat Tyson Fury or Anthony Joshua with explosion and athleticism. First up, what does Curtis Blades have to say about Naganu? You're about to find out. UFC heavyweight contender Curtis Blades claims Francis Naganu should leave the UFC to pursue a huge payday in boxing. But as you'll see, not everyone agrees. Blades, who knocked out Chris Dacus and moved into title contention, is the latest fighter to weigh in on Naganu's future. Naganu recently underwent knee surgery and, unfortunately, is expected to be out for the rest of the year. Naganu may leave the UFC in 2023 when his contract expires and the UFC heavyweight champion could become a free agent. Naganu is currently seeking a lucrative fight deal with heavyweight boxing champion Tyson Fury, but he also wants to stay in the UFC. However, it doesn't look like Naganu will be able to have his cake and eat it too. The Cameroonian-born fighter has been at odds with the UFC over a new deal that would allow him to box but still remain in the UFC, similar to what Conor McGregor did in his big money fight with Floyd Mayweather back in 2017. But the UFC has been unwilling to budge, and their position that Naganu cannot fight Fury while under contract remains the same. As a result, the UFC could very well lose one of its biggest stars. Up next, could Naganu actually beat the Gypsy King? Let's take a look. In a recent interview, Blades gave his thoughts on whether or not Naganu should remain in the UFC or if he should pursue his dreams of a pro boxing career. Blades said, if I'm him, I'm just going to box. They make a lot of money, and he would make a lot of money against Anthony Joshua or Tyson Fury or Deontay Wilder. He would be rich, so if I were him, I would let my knee heal up and get ready to box. Blades further explained that the power and athleticism of Naganu would give him a chance in boxing. Blades also thinks that Naganu would even have a strong chance of beating the likes of Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua, or Deontay Wilder. Blades appears to have little doubt that Naganu will be successful in the pro boxing world. And if you look at the top pro boxers in the heavyweight division, it's easy to see why Blades and others could predict that Naganu would be successful. Naganu has the reach, the height, the physique, and the stamina to be able to go the 12 round distance with some enhanced cardio training. And we know that he has explosive power, energy, and athleticism. With boxing gloves, Naganu's punches may not have the same impact, but it isn't a stretch to think that he could beat some of boxing's top contenders, including the Gypsy King. For UFC fighters, it's always good to know that there is something on the other side of MMA because you can't fight in the octagon forever. And in the end, most fighters just want to get their money and financial security. Pro boxing will always be a good route, and Blades has been doing great himself. He's rising up through the ranks of the UFC's heavyweight division after his knockout win against Dalkus. Up next, what does Iron Mike Tyson think about Naganu crossing over into boxing? Let's find out. With Naganu out of action, a group of contenders including Ciro Gan, Stipe Miocic, Tai Tuavasa, and Tom Aspinall are all jockeying for position in the division. Dana White recently spoke about the possibility of an interim title fight, considering the uncertainty surrounding Naganu's future. Iron Mike Tyson recently opened up about the situation and claims that Naganu's recent $600,000 UFC purse would only cover his training expenses during his heavyweight career. As some of you may know, Naganu's currently embroiled in a contract standoff with the UFC over money and Naganu's inability to pursue lucrative opportunities outside of the octagon and in the boxing ring. Naganu recently defended his UFC heavyweight title against Ciro Gan and earned a guaranteed purse of $600,000, a pittance compared to what pro boxers at the highest levels can earn. During a recent conversation on the podcast, Hot Boxing, Tyson spoke with UFC middleweight champ Israel Adesanya. Adesanya said, shout out to my boy, my big brother Francis. He kicked the door down and said, look, this is what's happening. They're paying me this much and I'm this guy. He put it all out there. Mike, imagine at the height of your career, you're fighting and you're getting paid the equivalent of $600,000 to fight. That would be atrocious. Tyson replied to Adesanya saying, listen, that'd be my training expenses. That's my training expenses. People would pay me to do commercials and stuff and I would make sure they paid me in advance, but I might not show up or something. Stay tuned and don't go away because we're taking an in-depth look at the UFC's Francis Naganu situation. Next up, what does Naganu's manager, Ali Abdelaziz, have to say about the contentious situation? You're about to find out. Adesanya further opened up about his thoughts on UFC payments, saying, the guys who are making their debut should be able to just get paid and not have to work at all during their training camp because a lot of fighters do. They work. 
Imagine having a second job. Get paid, pay management, pay trading expenses, then have enough to live off of. Adesanya is one of the highest earners in the UFC after signing a lucrative long-term deal. Mike Tyson had a hugely successful boxing career and earned almost $37.5 million from his exploits. Most recently, Tyson was expected to have earned around $10 million for an exhibition match against Roy Jones Jr. in 2020. Naganu also compared his purse to heavyweight champion Tyson Fury, who earned 50 times more than him for his recent trilogy with Deontay Wilder. We could see Naganu in a crossover bout with Fury, who said he'd be willing to come out of retirement and fight. Both Fury and Naganu have verbally agreed to scrap on social media, and Fury hopes if the fight does happen, it'll be in Las Vegas sometime in 2023. Naganu has yet to make an official decision, but Naganu's MMA manager, Ali Abdelaziz, thinks the heavyweight deserves better pay. Abdelaziz said, If anybody deserves to be paid, it's Francis. Francis probably left in the last two fights $12 million on the table. This is a courageous man. Up next, what does George St. Pierre think Naganu should do? Let's take a look. Not everyone's convinced that Francis Naganu crossing over to boxing is a smart move. GSP is warning Francis Naganu not to leave MMA too soon for a Tyson Fury boxing match. The former UFC welterweight champ hopes his friend Francis Naganu will get the money he's worth, but not if it's going to cost him his career. GSP recently cautioned Naganu not to jump into boxing until he is truly finished with the MMA world. GSP said, I'm telling him as a friend, he needs to get paid to his value, and if he's not satisfied with what the UFC gives him, go get your service somewhere else, because they're going to pay you well, because he's not young. GSP's got a point here. Naganu is a heavyweight, and you never know what can happen in a heavyweight bout. It's the type of weight class where one punch can change the fight. It's rare to see a heavyweight fighter staying champion for a long time because of that reason. He needs to go somewhere where he's going to be paid for what he's worth, and if the UFC's not ready to do this, now he has the power on his side. He can negotiate now because of his contract. Finally, why does Naganu want to make the leap to pro boxing so badly? Honestly, it's all about the Benjamins. Naganu has been toying with the idea of moving to boxing for some time because he's chasing the kind of payday that gave Conor McGregor his fortune after fighting Floyd Mayweather. And can we blame the guy? Of course not. GSP said he thinks Naganu deserves to make millions of dollars, but that deep down inside, he's such an incredible talent in MMA. GSP's afraid that if Naganu goes to boxing against Tyson Fury, he'll of course make a lot of money, but Naganu's a specialist of mixed martial arts, and Tyson Fury has boxed all of his life. So, according to GSP, the odds will go toward Tyson Fury in a boxing match, but in an MMA match, there isn't a doubt in his mind that Naganu would crush the Gypsy King in under a minute. However, GSP worries that if Naganu steps into the boxing ring, he could receive a career-ending punch. GSP added, So if I were him, I would tend to fight in MMA as long as I'm not tired of doing it. And when he's at the end of his career, if he wants to do a boxing match, then why not? But it's up to him. And that's a wrap for today's video. Thank you for watching.